Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Worsu. When I stitched the starfish for number 35 of Thread Sketching in Action, I'd prepared a larger piece of background fabric, so I decided to make a complementary piece this week using another background section and the same colour threads as in the starfish. However, by way of contrast, I've more or less reversed the dominance of the colours from reds to yellows for this slate pencil sea urchin. What I plan to create is two contrasting but complementary pieces. I began with a very approximate chalk outline of the sea urchin, just so that I wouldn't go way out of balance with my drawing. Then I began to stitch. At this stage I was completely winging it, as I had not yet decided how I would fill the pencils of the sea urchin with colour. I often work this way, making decisions as I go along. Most of the time it works for me, but sometimes I know it's wise to experiment a bit first on another fabric scrap. Gradually I worked around the whole design, filling the pencil spines with yellow colour as a base. Then I began adding darker colours, beginning with a light orange shade, working from the centre of the sea urchin outwards. I'm afraid I missed filming a bit of this colour application, as I forgot to turn on the camera. Silly me. The base of the pencil spines tends to be darker where they meet the sea urchin shell, so I continued building up the colours, working through oranges to reds. The lumpy surface of the sea urchin shell is stitched with the darkest red of the piece, working in tiny little circles to create the right effect. As with the starfish, the background of this sea urchin is worked in a simple pebble stitch. The finished piece shows a predominantly yellow sea urchin that shows up vividly against the mainly blue background. And when this sea urchin is placed alongside its companion, the starfish, you can see how the two pieces contrast and complement each other by using the same set of colours but in different ways. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials and videos.